He is known for being a biochemist and a Zionist leader who played a crucial role in the establishment of the State of Israel. He is recognized for his contribution to industrial fermentation and the development of the acetone butanol ethanol fermentation process. His name is Haim Weizmann. In the annals of scientific history, one name stands out, Haim Osriel Weizmann, a Russian-born biochemist whose impact on the world is immeasurable. Weizmann's journey began as a young Zionist leader, advocating for the establishment of a Jewish homeland. His efforts were pivotal in obtaining the Balfour Declaration, a significant step towards the creation of the State of Israel. Weizmann's determination and diplomacy also played a crucial role in convincing the United States government to recognize the newly formed nation. But it wasn't just his political achievements that defined Weizmann's legacy. As a biochemist, he made groundbreaking contributions to the field of industrial fermentation. Weizmann is considered the father of this process, which involves the use of bacteria to produce substances like acetone, and butanol, and ethanol. His acetone production method proved invaluable during World War I, as it was crucial in the manufacture of cordite explosive propellants for the British war industry. Weizmann's passion for scientific advancement led him to found the Seif Research Institute in Rehovot and play a key role in establishing the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. His dedication to education and research continues to impact the scientific community to this day. Haim Osriel Weizmann's life is a testament to the power of determination, diplomacy, and scientific innovation in shaping the course of history, both politically and scientifically. Haim Weizmann, while serving as a lecturer in Manchester, made a groundbreaking discovery that would revolutionize industrial fermentation. He found a way to use bacterial fermentation, specifically the bacterium Clostridium acetobutilicum, to produce large quantities of acetone. This discovery was significant because acetone was a crucial component in the manufacture of cordite explosive propellants, which were vital for the Allied war effort during World War I. Recognizing the importance of Weizmann's discovery, Winston Churchill and David Lloyd George, the Minister of Munitions, encouraged Weizmann to further develop the process. In early 1915, Weizmann transferred the rights to the manufacture of acetone to the Commercial Solvents Corporation in exchange for royalties. This move allowed for the pilot plant development of laboratory procedures, which was completed in 1915 at the J. W. Nicholson and Co. Gin Factory in Bow, London. With the successful completion of the pilot plant, industrial-scale production of acetone began in six British distilleries requisitioned for this purpose in early 1916. Throughout the war, these efforts produced a staggering 30,000 tons of acetone. However, due to inadequate supplies of maize for fermentation, a national collection of horse chestnuts was necessary to provide the required starch. Weizmann's remarkable work not only made him highly regarded by the British government but also granted him access to senior cabinet members. This privileged position allowed him to advocate for Zionist aspirations during this time. Additionally, his association with British liberalism enabled him to secure a financial and industrial deal with imperial chemical industries, cementing the future of the Zionist homeland. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.